Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, by selling 33 meters of cloth, Arun gained the selling price of 11 meters. Find the gain percent. So what's the question given? Arun is selling 33 meters of cloth. And by selling 33 meters of cloth, his profit is equal to the selling price of 11 meters. Then what is his gain percentage? So here actually, let us P is a product SP represents the selling price of 1 meter. Okay. Just for our reasons only we are writing like this and for avoiding confusion. So what is our selling price actually here? He is selling 33 meters of cloth. So it will be equal to 33 SP. So his selling price is equal to 33 SP. And what is his gain? His gain is the selling price of 11 meters. So his gain is 11 SP. We have to find out the gain percentage. So we know what is the formula of gain percentage? Gain percentage is equal to gain divided by cost price into 100. So we are having gain. We have to find out the cost price in order to determine the gain percentage. And what is cost price? We know cost price is equal to selling price minus gain. So what is our selling price here? 33 SP. What is our gain here? 11 SP. So our Cost price is equal to 33 SP minus 11 SP is equal to 22 SP. So you should not be confused here. Selling price and surely I wrote here. SP is representing the selling price of 1 meter. And here our selling price is, is selling 33 meters of cloth. So here our selling price will be equal to 33 SP. So total cost price will be equal to 33 SP minus gain which is equal to 11 SP. And that is equal to 22 SP. So what is his gain percentage? So gain percentage will be equal to 11 SP divided by 22 SP into 100. So here I am writing all the steps and explaining. So I am taking this much time. So when you are doing this, you can just finish it off within a minute. So 1 by 2 into 100 which is equal to 50 percentage. Example number 2. By selling 33 meters of cloth, a person gains the cost of 11 meters. Find his gain percentage. So, when you view it for the first time, you will feel that this question is similar to the first question or the previous question. But it's not similar. Here, what is the difference? A person is gaining the cost of 11 meters. There, the person was gaining the selling price of 11 meters. So, it was a more direct question. We can simply write gain is equal to 11 SP. And 33 meters of cloth SP, we can simply write it as 33 SP and we can find out the cost price and from there we will be getting the gain percentage. But here it is specifically given by selling 33 meters of cloth, the person is gaining the cost of 11 meters. So we don't know the cost price, we don't know the selling price. The only information we are having is the profit is equal to 11 in the cost price when he is selling 33 meters of cloth. So upon selling 33 meters of cloth, he will be gaining a profit which is equal to the 11 times the cost price. 11 CP is his profit when he is selling 33 meters. So like for, for 1 meter, let's say the cost price is equal to 1, V1. Okay, the 1 rupee is the cost price of 1 meter. Then, what is the cost price of 11 meters? Cost price of 11 meters will be equal to rupees 11. So, why we are finding out the cost price of 11 meters? Because that is the profit. It is given profit is equal to 11 into cost price. So, cost price of 11 meters is equal to rupees 11. So, that is our profit here. The profit is equal to rupees 11. You now we have to find out the cost price in order to get the gain percentage. Cost price of what? Cost price of 33 meters. Okay, profit. When selling 33 meters, the corresponding profit is rupees 11. So what is the corresponding cost, uh, cost price? So cost price is equal to V1 into 33. That is rupees 33. Okay. So here the information given is when 33 meters of cloth is sold, the Profit is the cost of 11 meters. So corresponding cost price we have to find out. Upon selling 33 meters of cloth only he is getting a cost of 11 meters. So what is the cost price of 33 meters of cloth and what is the corresponding profit. Then we can easily find out the gain percentage. So gain percentage is equal to corresponding profit is rupees 11 and the corresponding cost price is rupees 33. So gain percentage will be equal to 11 by 33 into 100 which is equal to 100 by 3 
or when we are expressing it as a mixed fraction, we will be getting 33 by 3 percentage. So, this question and the previous question is very important. Understand it thoroughly. With the type of question, a very confusing question which can be asked in educated questions and the competitive exams. So, be clear with it by selling one cases, gaining the selling price. That is direct. Like the SP, 11 SP, we can find out easily cost price and corresponding gain percentage. Here it is given the cost of 11 meters. The cost of 11 meters by selling 33 meters of cloth. So, what is the corresponding cost price for the 33 meters of cloth in the profit? Then we can find out the gain percentage. Now, example number 3. 12 copies of a magazine were sold for rupees 1800, thereby gaining cost price of 3 copies. Find the cost price of a copy. The same kind of question, we have to find the cost price of a copy here. So, how to do this? The selling price is given directly. The total copies of the magazine are sold for Rs. 1,800. So, what is the selling price of one copy? Selling price of one copy will be equal to 1,800 divided by 12, which is equal to Rs. 150. So, we are having the selling price of one copy. We have to find out the cost price of one copy. We are having one additional information. The gain is 3 CP. Gain is the cost price of 3 copies. So, from this information, we have to find out the cost price. So, from this given gain and uh, our information, if we are able to find out the gain percentage, means we can then easily find out the cost price. So, that is our aim here. So, we are having gain is equal to 3 CP. So, the same procedure, let cost price of 1 copy is equal to rupees 1. Then, uh, what is our cost price for 12 copies? Cost price of 12 copies will be equal to rupees 12. And what is the corresponding gain? It is given when 12 copies are sold, the cost price of 3 copies we are getting as gain. Or our gain is equal to rupees 3. When we are selling 12 copies, our gain is rupees 3. So we have to take the cost price of 12 copies and we have to take the gain. So that is the main point here. The gain should be associated with the corresponding cost price. Here when we are selling 12 copies, we are getting the gain of rupees 3. So, what is the cost price of 12 copies? That we have to find out. So, cost price of 12 copies is equal to 12 and gain is rupees 3. So, the gain percentage will be equal to 3 by 12 into 100. That is 25 percentage. 1 by 4 into 100. So, 25 percentage is our gain. So, we have the selling price, we have the gain percentage. We have to find out the cost price. What is the formula? SP is equal to X into CP. And uh, what is X? Since here this is a gain, X will be greater than 1. So, 1 point. Since it is 25 percentage, 1.25. So, SP, what is our SP? 150. So, 150 is equal to 1.25 in the cost price. So, our cost price will be equal to 150 divided by 1.25. 1.25 we can easily write it as 1, 1 by 4, that is 5 by 4. So, 150 into 4 divided by 5, so our answer is rupees 120. The only key to note here is that the gain should be corresponding to the, the gain should be associated with the corresponding cost price. That is the only thing. If it is correct means you will get the correct answer. Thank you for watching.